Jay's doing okay. He's doing good. We got a real scare, but, uh, you know, blood clot in his leg, went into his lung, pulmonary embolism, uh, you know, spooky. Hard to believe for a 37-year-old that runs six miles every day, you know, just uh, no way. But a lot of people have a lot of worse things, but this could have been tragic. But, uh, but he's, you know, probably going to be faced with blood thinner maybe the rest of his life. But, uh, you know, uh, considering everything, that's not too bad. Well, of course, we went up there on Saturday and Saturday evening, and, and we were there from Saturday evening until... I was there until Tuesday, you know, Tuesday evening when I flew down to the present thing. And uh, <laughs> of all things, you know, it was pouring the rain when I got on the plane. And uh, it, was, it was my plane. And, and our, our co-pilot was standing there and a state police guy. And, and, uh, and I had my coat in the back seat. I jumped out with my tie just wrapped around me and ran up the steps, got on the plane and and sat down and started trying to write a speech because I had, to, you know, I mean, I was going to speak in no time here. And so, so uh, I'm scribbling on that and everything. I had two bags in case that I would stay here. And so, so uh, they got the stuff. I, I was about 10 minutes outside of Charleston, had the speech written and everything, and, and just kind of leaned back and started looking around. And I said, hmm, I don't see my coat. And then so it was still in the state police cruiser or whatever and uh and just finding a coat for me is a little difficult so everybody was scrambling around trying to find a coat and the president comes in puts his arm around me we go down the hall in his little green room area and we talk about the the events of the day whether it be cohen or manafort or the terrible tragedy about that young lady in, in iowa that died and uh or was killed and so so we're talking about all that, and I'm hoping like crazy they can come up with my clothes from some other place. So, so they end up with the clothes. Of course, I told the president about Jay, and, and then it got to be prime time where he went. I mean, I went out to speak and, and, and then came back, and then we were just sitting there still talking and everything, and, uh, and now it's prime time where he goes, and, I'm, and he's going to call me out there too, so I'm kind of just sitting there. This is the stuff about Donald Trump that people just don't see and don't know. He puts his arm around me and leans over to me and he says, as soon as you get through talking, get the hell out of here and go back to Johns Hopkins. And so, so I do. I, I talk, I leave, I go back to Johns Hopkins and everything. And then yesterday, you know, I'm just going home and, and, and I'm in a place where my cell phone isn't working and everything. And all of a sudden the OnStar rings and it's him. And he said, uh, he said, Big Jim, you're the greatest. He said, he said, all I'm calling for is how's Jay? It's hard to believe. I mean, he said, I'm sitting in the Oval Office. I was just thinking about it. And he said, I wanted to call check on Jay. That's a side about Donald Trump that nobody gets. I mean, I've said it over and over and over because I know it because I'm with him and I know it. I know how much he cares about West Virginia. And I know it, and he cares about us in a way that's like, you know, we've had a hard way to go here in West Virginia. And he can maybe help. And so he identifies to that, and he genuinely does care. He's a good man. And uh, a lot of times we get all wrapped up in the brashness and the, all the controversy that surrounds him and everything because he's done a lot of stuff. But, but his heart's good, and his kids are good. And uh, I wanted to show you one other thing real quick. But I, had, and I was in the green room with him, and there was his hat, his hat. He was going to wear this out on, uh, you know, when he went out. Yeah. And so... I said to him, I don't want you to wear that. And I was just teasing him. You know, I said, I want you to sign that to my grandson, JC. And he just grabbed it, you know, and he said, okay. And, and I, I had no clue what he'd write or anything. And this is so much him and it's so much me. But he wrote, to JC, work hard and signed his name. So that's, that's Donald Trump in a nutshell. Work hard and he cares. And, and that's really important to me.